Avengers Infinity War, Tom Hiddleston reveals Loki shock there was a strange resistance. Avengers, Infinity War star Tom Hiddleston has revealed an interesting fact about Loki's longevity in the MCU. The popular Marvel antagonist was originally supposed to have died a long time ago, at the end of 2013's Thor, The Dark World. The death is still in the movie, although in reshoots an additional beat was added wherein Loki is revealed to be posing as Odin at the very end. Had it not been for test audiences fundamentally not accepting Loki's demise as real, he would likely have been killed off for good, never returning in Thor, Ragnarok or the current Smash Avengers, Infinity War, which Hiddleston is currently helping to promote. Loki's death on Svartalfheim was written as a death and I would say Chris Hemsworth and I played that scene for real, Hiddleston told Empire. That was meant to be that he redeemed himself. He helped save his brother, he helped save Jane Foster but that he, in the process, sacrificed himself. It was part of the original pitch and in test screenings, the audience didn't accept it. They said, he's obviously coming back, that didn't really happen. And there was a very strange and almost unanimous resistance to it. They decided that wasn't the end. We won't spoil here what Loki's storyline is in Avengers, Infinity War, but the movie as a whole has sparked a lot of discussion amongst Marvel fans for its shocking developments. It's now a very long wait until next year's Avengers 4, before which we have Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel to look forward to. The latter will introduce Brie Larson to the MCU, as the all-powerful Carol Danvers, potentially the most powerful hero in Marvel history. Today, incidentally, marks the 10th anniversary of Iron Man, the very first film in the MCU. That movie starred Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, the titular hero, and was followed in quick succession by the Incredible Hulk. Thor joined the fun, alongside Loki, in 2011. Avengers, Infinity War is out now.